Seven years ago, I was diagnosed with having FH. Um, after initially going to the doctors with, I developed xanthelasma under both eyes and thought it was a skin condition. Um, and after being told I've got high cholesterol and FH was in my family and I was diagnosed, I was given medication and sent home. It's only a few years later when I've started, started looking things up on the internet um, and realising how serious it is that I've got involved with Heart UK. A lot of people won't know what FH is. It's an extreme version of cholesterol, is it? It is, yeah. It's a problem with your, your receptors in your liver so that we don't get rid of cholesterol out of the body and it, it stays in the body, obviously, and in the blood and it causes um, problems in your arteries and flaring up of your heart. Did it frighten you? It did, yeah, absolutely. Because if I wouldn't have discovered the symptoms, some people don't develop xanthelasma or any other symptoms at all. If I wouldn't have seen that, I'd still not know now. And, and, the, and the fear kicks in because, I mean, you're a mum, you've got, you've got uh, four children. Absolutely, yeah. And, and that's one of the first things that I wanted to do is to, to get my children tested. Um, my son Lewis has been diagnosed with FH and he's on medication and my daughter's been tested next week as well. So we're on the way with getting them treatment, which was the, the most important thing for me as, long as, as well as getting myself treated. You actually lived with this for quite a while, didn't you, before um, you discovered Heart UK? I did, I did, yeah. Um, on finding all the information, obviously, I was absolutely frightened, frightened for my children because my doctor didn't know what to do. He'd not really heard of it. Um, so after changing doctors and finding another doctor who said, I don't know what to do with this, but I will find out. Um, and we've got the children sorted out. I got in touch with Heart UK and uh, they've supported me in helping with the diet, helping, talking about medications, just supporting you in what to do next and giving you the information that you need. How important is that to have the support? 100% important. It's the best thing, yeah. And it's the um, knowing people. It's not a big organisation. You know the people by name, you know them by face, they know your story, they're aware of what's happened to you and they're only a phone call away. You can, you know, you can speak to somebody on the helpline or you can phone them and speak to them and get the advice that you need. I was going to ask you, how do, you know, if people are watching this and saying, well, that, that, that could be me, what do they do? Um, go to your doctors and ask them to test your cholesterol, say that you're concerned. Um, mention FH and say that you think that there's some symptoms in your family. If you go on, on the website for Heart UK, there's a lot of information on there and a lot of tools and a lot of um, information packs you can have sent to you if, you if you need that support. And there's a lot of information about FH and other cholesterol problems and, and what you should do if you think it's in your family. And, and just just take one step back if you haven't, go, you don't not going all the way with FH, but you've actually got high cholesterol generally, what is the general advice from Heart UK about what you should be doing? Um, exercising, eating right. They've got a lot of dietary advice on the website. There's dietary booklets that you can get and 20 minute exercise plans online, which you can do and try and fit into a lot of people's problem with exercises. They're very busy, you know, the parents, they're working. It's just about finding that little bit of time to help yourself. Um, the support for all sort of cholesterol problems, whether it's just high cholesterol, FH or other disorders. So it's, it's there for everybody, for every kind of cholesterol problem that you've got. And if you want advice, you can just phone up and ask and say, my cholesterol was a bit high last time. You know, what, what's your advice? The dietitian will speak to you or you can get some leaflets sent out to you to help you with that. Obviously, we want to raise as much money as we can for Heart UK with this process. Um, what would be your call to action for people? Um, definitely go online look at it read about it educate yourself even if you don't have the problem it's educating yourself for other people like me and my children so that the more people that know about it and are aware about it the more people are going to give and be involved in it and people are going to think oh that is me that's my family maybe it's not you maybe it might be a friend or you might have a cousin or a, you know your husband's family or some do you think yeah that 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 rings a bell you need to get them to go online and to look at the symptoms and think well maybe this is a starting point when we need to go and do something about this because it is a silent killer if you don't realize it's in your family you might look healthy you might be healthy it's not something that most of the time you can outwardly see on someday and and there must be this feeling of kind of despair at times and and, and depression and all that kind of thing um, it gives you something to hang on to doesn't it? it it definitely it gives you hope it gives you a sense of community it gives you a sense of not being alone somebody to listen to you who understands meeting other people with the same condition or similar conditions was a really big thing for me to understand that you're not on your own there is other people with children there's other people mums other people in my situation my age who have this this the same